Michigan State University Interim President Teresa K. Woodruff joins me to elaborate on some of the topics she covers in her March 2023 Spartan Community Letter, which you can read by clicking on the Communications tab at president.msu.edu. And President Woodruff, great to speak with you again. Great to speak with you, Russ. Well, academics, athletics, and the arts are all important parts of the university experience. And this month, they brought Spartans together to cheer, to celebrate excellence, and to heal. Congratulations are in order to John A. Hanna Distinguished Professor Felicia Wu, appointed by Governor Gretchen Whitmer to the Michigan Commission of Agriculture and Rural Development for a term running through 2026. I recently had the chance to talk to Felicia, and I was just uh, really struck by as accomplished as she is, how humble and typical Spartan she is. <laughs> You're exactly right, uh, Russ. And she is one of those that we're cheering this month. And Professor Wu really is one of the leaders and so humble, but is really helping all of us uh, to support Michigan's agricultural mission and bringing what we do at MSU to the community in uh, in important ways. So we're really pleased and I'm I'm so delighted to honor her this month. And you had a fun opportunity to honor the dedicated professionalism of our educators leading our classrooms, like Professor Susan Maston of the College of Engineering, who is the recipient of this year's President's Distinguished Teaching Award. And you surprised her with the award. I did. And her <laughs> class, we got to kind of burst in and I went in and uh, the class was uh, surprised, as was she. But, uh, you know, she not only got the 2023 President Te President's Teaching Award this month, she also received the 2023 MSU Community Engagement Lifetime Achievement Award and the 2023 College of Engineering Sustained Excellence and Diversity Award. She's a powerhouse. And, you know, professors like uh, Dr. Mastin are are really those that are elevating uh, our academics every single day. Our Mr. MSU Tom Izzo set another record this year, being the first person to take his team to 25 straight big dances. And just your yep. thoughts on Tom and what he does for MSU really every day. Well, you know, he's been amazing for us, has lifted all of us up, uh, not just uh not just for 25 years, but most particularly in the last six or seven weeks where yes. he's really been the he's been the heartbeat for a lot of us and said the right things at the right time. And it's, it was really thrilling to watch him and, and help our, our student athletes uh, navigate them uh, towards uh, this uh, NCAA tournament, which was really thrilling right down to the last overtime period buzzer. It was really exciting. And sadly a little bit though, Susie Merchant had to call it a career due to some health issues and just your thoughts on Susie and her career and what she's dealing with. Well, Tom and I uh, were at every women's basketball game, starting from when I first arrived, uh, when we could first go in COVID uh, and uh, right up to uh, her last game. And uh, we just, again, recognize her legacy. Uh, and I, I'm sure it was a difficult decision to retire after 16 seasons, but I just really celebrate her and the way she also guided our student athletes. And I really wish her all the best as she continues uh, uh, in her uh, profession and career. Here, here. And another MSU squad continues an illustrious record of national tournament competition this month. They're on their way to the national debate tournament in Virginia. Spartan debaters have qualified for the tournament for 27 consecutive years, more than even Tom Izzo, yeah. and they've won it three times. That's a real great program, isn't it? Well, that's the resonance. You know, if we talk about academic excellence and uh, athletics, and of course, we're going to talk about the arts in a minute, Russ, but, you know, 27 consecutive years for our debate team is really a national uh, record and a cherished one here at MSU and beyond. And I really uh, look forward to seeing what happens when our, our debate team goes down to Chantilly, Virginia uh, for um, beginning just this Friday uh, for their uh, for this next run that they have uh, in the national tournament. And, you know, of course, President Woodruff, we continue to address campus safety in the wake of the violence our campus community experienced on February 13th. What would you sort of like to update us on today with not only the safety measures, but the healing, as you talked about, that Tom Izzo was so crucial to. Right. And, you know, we have been and we've had a number of letters on uh, things that have to do with uh, the actual security of locks and cameras and uh, active violent intruder training. But I also think one of the things that's so important, Russ, is that arts 
can really help us reclaim ourselves and our campus. And so together with that action, I really encourage everyone to join together in community. And one of the things that I've had a chance to go through is the new installation at the International Center. And for those who haven't, I just really suggest you go. There's a series of folded paper butterflies that bring just the kind of message we need. It elevates uh, and, and soars and, and helps us to be inspired um, by each other. And uh, from that to our Wharton Center, to the Broad Art Museum, the MSU Museum, our, our collection and arts really help bring us together as a community. They knit us together and they elevate us, help us to lift up our eyes a little bit further. And, you know, Vice President and Chief Diversity Officer Jabbar Bennett and his team recently released the 2022-23 Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Report. What are some of the highlights from the report you'd like to share today? Well, you know, I think uh, as we've all uh, known, we have the University Strategic Plan, the DEI Plan, the RVSM Plan. And to me, that that interoperability between those three plans is what sets MSU apart. And with this uh, annual report, um, what we all learned is there were 270 action plans that uh, the community brought forward that they really saw this uh, university uh, uh, needing in order to achieve our welcoming and safe uh, campus ethos. And about half of those um, action items have been accomplished and and uh, or, or are in progress. And that's really exciting. That shows that over time, we continue to work towards what everyone believes is the uh, positive impact, and that's on recruitment, on retention uh, at the student level, at the uh, faculty level, at the employee level. And uh, I just urge everybody to click on that report, and I think you'll be uh, as inspired as I was. And Spartans helped us further support the success of our students in March through their generosity on Give Green Day. That's our annual fundraising event supporting students. Our new Spartan Strong Fund was well supported by the Spartan community too. And aren't you, I'm always struck and I'm sure you are by the generosity of Spartans. I'm so thrilled for the way and ways in which um, our community um, supports our students and our regional clubs raised $120,000 for scholarships which is really remarkable. And then our MSU faculty, staff, and retirees contributed more than $157,000 to various funds. And that is up about 7.5% year over year. And that just shows the generosity and the value uh, that all of us place uh, play a place on uh, MSU. And as you mentioned, the Spartan Strong Fund, which is uh, to enable um, the restoration of healing for our uh, students who are most affected, um, uh, that total is about $900,000 at this point. And I think that just uh, really demonstrates, again, the generosity of the entire Spartan community uh, as they wrap their arms around uh, all of us as we continue to heal. Yes, I know the, the faculty and staff giving is always near or at the top of the Big Ten here at MSU. That's been pretty consistent. So, uh, well, President Woodruff, just some final thoughts as we talk this month uh, and, and head into next month. What are you thinking on? What do you want to leave us with today? Well, you know, we're all cheering excellence. We're cheering success for our student athletes. We're cheering success for our debaters. We're we're cheering on everyone as they continue to reclaim our campus. And, you know, my hope is that as we continue this long walk together, uh, we know that we're a community and we can support each other in each of the ways we talked about today, Russ. Well, President Woodruff, thanks again for sharing your thoughts with me today. Thank you. Really appreciate you, Russ. That's Michigan State University Interim President Teresa K. Woodruff elaborating on some of the topics she covers in her March 2023 Spartan Community Letter, which you can read by clicking on the Communications tab at president.msu.edu. And find and follow President Woodruff on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, too. And I'm Russ White. This is MSU Today.